I'm Rachel from the Lark's Head Shop and today I'm gonna teach you how to make this super easy beginner friendly macrame wall hanging. So you're only going to need to know a couple of different knots in order to create this and you only need a few different materials as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and first I'll show you what you need to complete this project. Here we go. Here's what you're gonna need for this project. First, obviously, we're gonna need some string. I prefer to use cotton string and a single twist. Uh, you can use whatever you prefer for this project though. And next, we will need some sharp scissors. And I like to use fabric scissors because they cut through the string much more easily than regular scissors do. You will need a six inch stick or branch or piece of driftwood or dowel of some sort to hang the wall hanging on. And last but not least, we're gonna need a set of measuring tape. All right, so if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to begin this wall hanging, we are going to need eight strands of rope. I cut each strand to 50 inches and we are going to start by attaching these all to the dowel rod using the lark's head knot. So to create a lark's head knot, you're going to take the center of your folded string, put it behind the dowel rod and throw the loop over across the top. Now the two ends in the back, you're going to pull them through the loop that you just created and just gently tighten onto the dowel rod. So we're gonna use the same knot in order to attach each string to the dowel rod. So again, taking the loop, throwing it over the top, and then pulling the loose ends through the loop. Okay, now that we have each of the strings attached to the dowel rod, we're going to move on to our first section of knotting. So we are going to start with the square knot and I'll go over the square knot briefly here, but if you need a more in-depth and slower paced video, I do also have a video showing the basic knots, including the square knot. So that might be a good video to reference if you need a little bit of a slowed down tutorial. But basically, to create the square knot, you're going to need four strings at a time, and your two outer strings are going to be the ones doing all the work. The two inner strings just kind of stay put. So we're going to create a four shape using the outer left string. Take the outer right string, swing that over the four shape. Now you're going to move that behind and through the loop. Now we're gonna pull these two outer cords so that they tighten up all the way to the top. And that is half of a square knot. So to complete the square knot, we're going to do the same thing, but in reverse. So you're going to take the outer right string, create a backwards four, and then the outer left swing string swings over and then through the loop. So we're going to go ahead and tighten that up and repeat that with all of the strings on the dowel rod here. Okay, now we've created our first row of square knots with four square knots on the top. The next row is going to have three and then two and then one in the, in the last row. So we'll create a triangle shape. So in order to do that, we're going to need to use alternating square knots. So you're going to take two strings from one of your square knots and two strings from the next 
and these are going to be our new strings to create the next square knot. So the outermost two strings on either side are just going to be left hanging. We're not going to use those right now. Okay, so as you can see, our next row has three knots. So for the, for the following row, it's going to be only two. And our final row will have only a single square knot. Right, so this is the first section of our design completed. We'll move on to the next section where we are still going to be using square knots, but we are going to leave a little gap in between this triangle shape. So for this next row, what we're going to do is take again the outer four cords and create a square knot, but I want you to leave a little bit of space about maybe an inch and a half or so. You can do more or less just depending on your own personal preference. So I left about an inch on the outer string. And we'll just continue down diagonally. So I'm gonna take two new strings and add them to the two strings on my outer square knot. And then keep that going. So two new strings that we're adding on. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. So now I'm taking the four outer strings again and I'm creating a square knot, but leaving a little bit of a gap to kind of match the other side here. And then we're going to move on to create a diagonal, diagonal line. And then tying one final knot in the middle to connect the two sides. Okay, now we've completed all the square knots that we're going to do for this piece. And now I'm going to show you the final knot that we're going to use called the clove hitch or the double half hitch knot. It goes by several names. Now for this knot, we're going to create a V shape in the form of a raised line using these two lead strings. So these two strings are going to point us in this V shape, but these strings are not going to be doing any of the actual knotting. They're just going to stay put and hold the direction. And we're going to one by one loop each of these other strings around this center string. So to do this, you're going to kind of pull the lead string in the direction that you want your line to go. And we're gonna take our knots or our strings one at a time. You're going to loop the string around and pulling the loose end upward, you'll tighten that up. So that's half of our knot. You're gonna just repeat the same exact thing. So you're going to loop it around the, the lead string and then pulling it through the loop that you created, you're gonna tighten that up, pull it nice and tight. So that is one clove hitch knot and you're just gonna repeat the same step going down the line with all of the different strings and you'll see a raised line start to show. Okay, so we have reached the center on this side, so I'm gonna stop there and do the same thing, but you're gonna go in the other direction now. So again, take your outermost string, you're going to wrap it around your lead string and then pulling that end through and upward. So that's half of our knot there. We're going to repeat that again and pull upward to tighten. There you go. We'll just repeat until we meet the other side in the middle.
Okay, now once you get to the middle, you can see these two lead strings have met, but now you're going to do the same knot and just choose one of them to be the lead string and one of them to be the working string. So I'm gonna choose this string to be the lead string and I'm going to wrap the other side around it to complete the V shape. So we're just gonna do another clove hitch knot using that. Okay, and now all of our design is completed. So we're just gonna need to move on to the final step, which is trimming and hanging your piece. Okay, so the trimming of the piece itself is just going to be a matter of preference. Some people may want to just cut in a straight line. I personally prefer a nice V shape to go along with the line that we created here. So I'm gonna cut mine in a V shape. So you'll just usually start at the center strings and pick a place to start. So I want my length to be right about here. So I'm just gonna make my first snip there. And then I will continue to angle my scissors upwards. Doesn't have to be perfect right in the beginning. We can kind of touch it up as we go. Again, just cutting at a nice angle. And then I like to just kind of go string by string until I'm happy with how it looks. Almost there. Okay, so I'm happy with the final look of this. So now we just need to figure out a way to hang it up on the wall. So I usually attach a hanging cord. I cut my cord to 20 inches in length and you can just tie a simple knot around either end. So we have a simple knot on this side. from the excess off. So now you can use this string to hang it on the wall or if you'd like to put it. And that's it for this finished piece. I hope you enjoyed and tag along for more videos. Hey, thanks for joining today. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos and tutorials, then you can hit the subscribe button and you can also hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted every time I have a new video.